Good morning. Welcome to God Time. I trust you had an incredible holiday weekend. Um, you just got to spend time at least with people virtually, um, seeing people that you love, having people wish you Merry Christmas. I think we will all agree 2020, we are glad to put in our rearview mirror. One of the favorite verses of scripture, whenever you have times like that, is just a phrase that says, this too shall pass. Well, what about next year? What about 2021? I, I want to look at maybe how to do 2021 better, not just because of avoiding a pandemic, but just from a personal level. It's easy to become cynical when the world seems to be spiraling out of control. Well, Chuck Swindoll offers some great advice about joy for the new year from his work. Good morning, Lord. Can we talk? Uh, I think we can agree with something. It's a rotten world. And some people just can't be trusted. There are con men and women and phonies and charlatans and politicians who seem to be out there and uh, ready to rip us off. Even Jesus counseled his men before their uh, first solo flights into ministry to be shrewd as snakes in Matthew 10, 16. Good sound advice since there's a lot of hungry wolves out there. I've learned over the years, however, that cynicism can be quick can quickly set in, bringing only heartache and bitterness. God offers us a better way. Matter of fact, if we look at Philippians chapter 4, he says, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank him for all he has done, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. And his peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So here's my plea today. It's that we not go overboard for focusing only on the worst. How needed is a balance. The world doesn't need any more cynics. You know, those squint-eyed, jaded folks who see the glass only as half empty. That's especially true in the body of Christ. Maybe you serve on a board or you're serving on a ministry team and you can't find a way to be joyful, encouraging. Here's what I suggest. Step aside. We don't need any more people who are just cynics. We got plenty of those. We need people who are willing to do the hard work of ministry. And sometimes the hard work of ministry is fixing your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable, admirable to think on those things. Don't allow your bitter spirit to hinder what the spirit to hinder what the Holy Spirit is doing in that place. How much better to be a joyful participant in this experience called living? And you'll likely attract a few cynics, but your attitude will ultimately point such naysayers in the right direction. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. That was the point that Paul was writing. We have something to look forward to because we know something they don't. The best is yet to come. So, in 2021, let me challenge you. Even as it's going to start up in a few days, um, I want you to remember, I want you to remember to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ and let everyone see that you're considerate in all that you do. As Paul says, remember the Lord is coming. Because of that, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank him for all he has done. That's what Paul tells us in Philippians. So now... Let me do that for you. Father, Lord, here's what we need. Father, I'm not going to say that we need less trouble. I'm going to say we need more joy. Father, the storms are going to rage because sin's in the world. But Father, my heart doesn't have to because you're in my heart. So Lord, I know that you can calm the storm. And I also know that sometimes you can calm the child in the storm. So I ask you now, Father, to give me joy even in the craziest of circumstances. And thank you, God, for the example of Paul, who whenever he wrote these words, he was locked away in a prison cell. 
He had every reason to not be joyful, but he chose joy anyway. Help us to do that. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I pray you have an incredible day. As always, love God, love one another. Now go be salt and light.